Hello, so today I will be demonstrating our project. So our project is a parking lot management system software that we programmed using C Sharp and using Windows Forms to be able to design the GUIs of our windows. So I'll just give a brief summary of the windows or pages we created. So we have a total of three forms or three pages. So the first is our login page, which is the first thing that will launch once we run this program. Next is our main page or our dashboard. So this is where most likely the user will spend most of his or her time when running this program. Third is our receipt page, which I will discuss later. Okay, so let's go through the program itself. Okay, so by default, we have set the username and password to be admin and 1234 respectively, but you can easily change that through the code so here we have an attendant combo box which should list the names of the registered personnel so it can be more than three less than three and it is specified by the company itself so for this example we only have person a b or c okay so let's try if we do not actually put in the attendant so we should get an error message here to tell us to select the attendant so let's say we're person a and let's try to put in the wrong password we also get a login field error message. So we have to make sure that the details we inputted are valid. So once the de details have been validated, we can now proceed to use the dashboard or the main page. So I'll just give a brief introduction of some of the buttons and functions here. So here in the top left, we have a calendar that shows the current date. So it, we actually did not program this to do anything. It's just here to guide the user on what day it is today. And here we also have the current time and the company logo. So our client specified to us that they have a number of 100 available slots. So which is why we have it specified here. And we have zero number of occupied parking slots because we have not yet entered or registered a vehicle. Okay, now to register a vehicle, we only need three details, the license plate, the brand, and the color. Because the time in, we do not have to change this, is based on the current time. So for this example, let's try to register in three vehicles. So after putting in the details, we just have to click this button. Okay, so let's say we do not or we forgot to put the color. So when we click this, we also get a prompt. So this makes sure that all of the details are indeed filled up. There. So currently we have a total of three cars that are parked. So we still do not have the time out, duration, and amount. So these are to be computed once we checked out the vehicle. Okay, so let's say for instance, we created a mistake here. So let's say this is the wrong license plate of the car. Now we can easily delete that by clicking this button and clicking the cell on whichever, as long as it's, it's, it's in the same row. There, once it has been deleted, so will the number of occupied and available slots update. Okay, so let's say the Ford checked out at 4 a.m. So again, we have to click on the same row and change the time out. Okay, so once we have done that, all you have to do is click this button. Then as you may have noticed, the cell turned red. And also we get a digital receipt that shows the license plate, the time in, the duration, time out, and the amount. Okay, so the duration is computed based on uh, by subtracting our time in and time out and for the amount uh, for this parking lot for the first three hours it cost 50 pesos and 20 pesos for the next upcoming or next additional hours after the first three hours so here we have the receipt number this increments every time we check out a vehicle 
Okay, so basically what red means is the vehicle has checked out the parking lot. Then what green means is it's currently parking. As you can see, there's no details yet. Okay, so let's try to add in one more vehicle. Okay, vehicle in. Then now we have currently two vehicles parking. Now let's say this Bentley went out at, let's say it went out at 9 a.m. Now we just have to click this button and we get the receipt and it turns red. So here we have the same details and we also have the receipt number and has it has incremented since the previous one. Okay, so this sales button here, basically, when we click this, we get the total number of vehicles that have parked and our total sales. So our total sales is obtained by adding the amount here. Okay, so next, this log out button, basically, when we click this, we have a prompt to make sure uh, that it is not a mistake. Okay, so once we log out the this da from this dashboard, all of the details here will be erased. But this will automatically save in an Excel spreadsheet as you can see. I'll demonstrate now. So do you want to log out and save? So when you cl click no, obviously it cancels. And when you click yes, it gives you the option to save the file. Now let's say we ca we can choose what location where we want to save it. Let's say we want to save it in our desktop and call it sample two dot xlsx. Now we have the option of two formats, but I recommend this one because it's safer and it's newer. So save. Okay. So as you may have noticed, we are back in our login page. Now if you were to check our desktop where we saved our file, here we can see sample 2. Let's open it. Now as you can see, we have successfully converted the table we had earlier into a spreadsheet or an XLSX format. So this is very useful, especially for business owners and clients who want a record of the summary of their sales for every ship. So that's basically it. So thank you for listening. I hope you understood this short demonstration of our project.